the ten will reduce it to five if you don't mind, Prof. Yeah, five minutes will be. A session convened by the Parliamentary Constitution Implementation Oversight Committee that is vetting nominees for the three constitutional offices gave members of the public an opportunity to ventilate and submit their views on the suitability of the three nominees. Despite a unanimous endorsement of Dr. Willie Mutunga's academic credentials, his critics, however, raised issues on his moral probity. Our young men are becoming young women. They are plating their hair, they are wearing earrings, they are soon they will be wearing skirts. When it comes to his sex orientation, which I have only heard men complaining, which man has he approached saying that he wants to date? It's we, the women, who should be complaining. We are not complaining. The committee chaired by Mandera Central MP Abdikader Mohammed was also told that Dr. Mutunga had played a key role in the registration of a gays and lesbians lobby group in the country. I have reason to believe that Dr. Mutunga is a serious supporter of views that this country, uh, people of this country have stood against issues of abortion, issues of homosexuality. The moral standpoint, appreciable as it is, that is being imposed on the country by some people is a moral standpoint that is tied to a particular religion. More moral issues were raised on the suitability of Nancy Baraza, who has been nominated for the position of Deputy Chief Justice. We also want to question her affiliation to FIDA Kenya. Lately, FIDA Kenya has embraced the pro-abortion agenda and other liberal moral issues. But I'm waiting to hear from the Catholic Church on their contribution or their public statement on their allegations about Father Kizito, for example, and his morality. The process of nominating Kerianko Tobiko for the position of Director of Public Prosecutions also came up during the forum. We do not actually know according to what criteria Mr. Tobiko has been uh, uh, nominated for this extremely crucial role. Professor Yash Palgai, who chaired the Refund Constitution Review Commission of Kenya, in which Tobiko served, claimed he was more of a political nominee with serious integrity issues. I wish the professor to clarify whether these might not fall in the province of personal vendetta and whether uh, there's a possibility that there may have been some, some, some kind of feud within the CKRC at the time the two of them served uh, uh, together in that commission. Uh, I, I, it is true that uh, Mr. Tibiko and I did not get on well together. It was not on any personal ground. It was purely because he was engaged in the sabotage of the process. Still, and, uh, unless uh, a substantive uh, uh, proof of all those allegations are, are made against Tobiko, I, I still believe that we cannot deny any Kenyan a chance to serve on the basis of allegations. Tobiko was nominated by a special stakeholders panel, while Dr. Mutunga and Baraza were nominated by the Judicial Service Commission. On Tuesday, the three nominees will individually appear before the committee for further vetting. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.